In the last few months, I found myself talking more and more uh, widely about content outside of the podcasting sphere, so not just about podcasting. And it's coming up because everyone that I speak to really is trying to get as much value out there as they can, as much content marketing out there. Uh, and I'm the first to admit that while I love podcasting, it's the medium I love, it's the one I, I'm evangelical about, I help people with, it doesn't work most effectively on its own, or it works really effectively with other mediums. So I'm writing this series and recording this series of videos to talk about a model that I use called content stacking, and which I've talked about before, which helps us to create prolific levels of media that really lets you get your personality, your values, your content, your value out there into the world. So content stacking starts with thinking about the strengths of each medium. So this is how I think that podcasting fits in with the wider world of content. So you start with text. The benefit of text, the real power of text is its reach. I mean, everybody searches text first. They always type something into Google. You put your question into Google, it comes up with text answers. So text has the widest reach out there of all the content. Now video is close behind, so YouTube appears in the Google, te uh, Google search results as well but it's not quite as prolific as text because really your Google is searching the text content of the articles you put out there. So that's how you can reach people really easily. Video though, next, again, it has a bit of the reach, but video brings in personality. So it brings in engagement. It brings in the fact that you can put yourself out there. You can show people what you're like, your sort of your personality, your values, you know, get uh, allow people to get to know you much more effectively. And that's the same with podcasting. So I think that media in general, podcasting and video has that benefit. That's the engagement. So you get them in via the text, that's where your reach is, and then you bring them in, you engage them. You bring them in and let them know who you are via media, which is video and audio. And that's where podcasting then stands above. This is the next step. So you then want to get them definitely onto your podcast because that is where you get the trust. Because with podcasting, you're adding to that engagement mix the attention. So you get people's attention for a long period of time. With video, you're lucky if you get a few minutes of attention out of people. But with audio, you can get them for half an hour to an hour, even up to three hours for some shows that are out there on the web right now. So that's how it works. Text for reach, media, video and audio for engagement, and then podcasting for that real trust through the attention that you put out there. Now, it's all about the funnel, really. You're bringing people in and down through this funnel. You get them in through the wide mouth at the top. That's what podcasting struggles with. It doesn't have a wide enough mouth to bring people in. People can find you via the podcast, but they're much more likely to find you via the text and the video. You guide them on from that content to uh, the text content to watching a video. You guide them on from the video to watching the podcast. And each step of the way, they're putting a block on this stack of engagement that you're building. So that's what I mean by content stacking. You're stacking that content up, building engagement with each step, so that by the end, they have this big stack of engagement, all of these little bits of content that they've consumed from text to text to text to media to podcasting, that they just know you so well, they trust you, and they're willing to, to engage with your brand, to convert, whether that's to email or a purchase, and to then evangel uh, evangelize you as well, so they become advocates for your brand. So that's how I think the content stacking method works. It's about producing everything. And of course, that sounds really difficult. So a big part of this series is talking about how we can manage to put out that much media, how we can manage to put out text articles, uh, video uh, supplements, uh, podcasting episodes, all of this stuff, all of this media. How do we put all of that out at the same time and still manage to get any other work done? So that's what I want to talk about in the following uh, episodes of this series. So I hope you join me again on that. I'm going to show you uh, how best I know to create prolific levels of content, how to create that real engagement through stacking that content up and creating a huge amount of engagement that leads to huge trust. So thanks for watching this and I hope to see you on the next video.